Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up the ingress on AKS Kubernetes. So guys, in my past videos, I've already shown you how we can set up the highly available Azure Kubernetes cluster on Azure Cloud through Terraform, right? And we are going to set up uh, traffic as an ingress and the different thing regarding this ingress. In my past videos, I've shown you how to set up the traffic ingress, but that was uh, version two, and I've covered EKS and GCP. This time, I'm going to cover uh, Azure, EKS, right? And we are going to uh, use the traffic latest sovereign of version three. So, guys, uh, in my existing repo, I've added all the stuff how you can uh, provision all the you know deployments on different clouds like AWS, EKS, and GK. So, um, so our, uh, I mean, AKS, it's already spin up. So I decided to create a video with regard to that. So uh, if you navigate to this section, uh, we are going to use help. But what we need to do, we need to install specific CRDs. So, uh, I mean, I've provided all the official links regarding the Helm chart. Uh, you can read those but what we are going to do we are going to uh install the crds right so you can navigate to this particular link i'm not going to do that i'm going to simply uh, install the crds regarding that right so let's do that so um if i do kubectl get nodes so we have six nodes cluster uh three of them are i mean uh, on-demand nodes and three of them are spot nodes anyway uh, in order to deploy on the spot nodes uh, we need to add toleration but our focus in this video is uh, regarding the you know deployment of um, you know helm 3 that is offering so what i'm going to do uh, i think it's better to clone this repo as we normally do in our uh, previous tutorials so if I do ls, I'm going to simply clone this guy and the previous stuff I've already covered. And let me, I'm going to simply clone this repo, right? So once this repo is cloned, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to navigate to this traffic, right? And simply navigate to this traffic version 3, right? So you need to simply do the same stuff. I'm going to navigate to this section. I'm going to install CRDs uh, in my cluster, right? So guys, uh, if you have not uh, seen my previous video, you can uh, simply watch those uh, particular videos. So we're using um, the, I mean, 1.27 version is up to you. Uh, like if you want to provision like 1.28, 1 1.29, Right, so guys, uh, we have this uh, AKS values for TML. I'm going to use this particular command and simply run it just to make sure that uh, that AKS values dot TML uh, should be uh, available here. So, and if I navigate to this section, uh, we are going to look what is inside the AKS uh, values dot TML. So it is pretty much the same stuff, but there are definitely different or some changes, right? Uh, I mean, I'm going to add uh, a node selector to apply uh, on the, you know, uh, stuff on, you know, on-demand nodes, add toleration if you want to allow uh, scheduling on the spot nodes. I've done that as well, but it's totally up to you. You can remove this particular section. So as this is the demo, I'm uh, showing you this stuff. So uh, the stuff is pretty much the same. Some of the changes I've mentioned here. So change from exposed to true. And now, I mean, it is now enabled, right? And uh, exposed area is enabled. So we are um, added header for the cloud phase uh, to, you know, uh, see the external IPs as well. And uh, rest of the stuff is pretty much the same. I mean, if you watch my particular uh, previous videos you can do that uh, not much change here right so let's see what we have so uh, i've uh, 
bring this cluster here so you can navigate to traffic so you see uh, our pods are spin up so what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly uh try to test it and i'm going to deploy kubectl uh k apply i think it's a typo k apply hyphen f deploy.yaml so what it does in the default namespace it is going to deploy the stuff some of the command you need to make sure uh, you should be aware of so uh okay so if i navigate to traffic version 3 roll it down uh, regarding the commands uh, what you need to do so uh, it is in the default namespace so k get yeah, ingress route dot traffic dot io right so you need to make sure you run this particular command to see what is what has been deployed and in order to uh, define in order to describe this particular guy you need to run this particular command so you will see the uh, website or the url uh, hostname is going to be app.setlanostack.com right so if i do qt they'll get spc in namespace um, uh in namespace uh traffic. Traffic. what it does it is going to provision one node balancer and this uh, external ip i need to update in my um in my cloud player right so we are using the masking of cloud player and the tls project by the cloud player so uh error is gonna be this because it is not a c name it is a record i need to read for uh, for this guy again so guys uh, it has been updated so if i navigate back to this section right and what i'm going to do you see it is updated so if i do uh, app dot setlanmustag.com I should be able to see my website you see it is successfully done you see and if you want to just double check you see uh let me see the pod uh, with this so simply remove this guy and if i see the pod or host name of the pod so it is at then 570t you see 570t if i do refresh it is going to load balance between these four and is hrj 5 b right so this one one more time i found this one guys well, uh, this is the quick demo regarding the traffic version 3 and then scroll it down uh, let me do the releases and i need to select this guy right so traffic right so this is the app version, chart version, and you see it's the V3.0. Definitely, you can just start the version uh, offered by the topic. That is it, guys. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.